formation of complex compound this is today's lesson today's complex compound is tetracarbonyl nickel let us write the formula of the compound tetracarbonyl nickel let us write the name of the compound tetracarbonyl nickel single word here zero tetracarbonyl nickel zero why zero let us see the matter here oxidation number of nickel suppose x plus carbon monoxide is in neutral ligand so its oxidation number is zero is equal to zero then x is equal to 0 that is oxidation number of nickel is 0 in tetracarbonyl nickel that is why its name is tetracarbonyl nickel 0 this is diamagnetic in nature and this is tetrahedral in shape So, tetracarbonyl nickel is diamagnetic in nature and tetrahedral in shape. Let us see the matter in detail. Tetracarbonyl nickel, in which oxidation number of nickel is 0. Let us consider electronic configuration of nickel. Atomic number of nickel is 28. Electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. Here, 18 electrons have been distributed. Then, 3d8, 4s2. Now, 28 electrons have been distributed. Then, 4p0. Here we see that oxidation number of nickel is 0. That means nickel didn't leave any electron. Now, let us see electronic configuration of nickel in box method. That is 3D. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then 4S. After that, 4p 1 2 3 3d orbitals contain 8 electrons let us distribute these 8 electrons according to Hund's rule 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now 8 then 4s 2 that is here 2 electrons 4s but 4p orbitals remain vacant here when neutral ligand carbonyl approaches nickel then here these unpaired electrons become paired in this way is single electron shifts here to be paired then we get Nickel 28 3d orbitals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then 4s. After that, 4p 1, 2, 3. Electronic configuration in d orbitals here 2, 2, 2 electrons. Then in this orbital. Two electrons in this way these two unpaired electrons get paired then these two electrons from OS orbital shift here to get stable these two electrons shift here to the 
lower energy orbital to be stable now here two electrons then this is 3d 4s become vacant and 4p orbitals are already vacant when carbonyl ligand approaches nickel then electrons rearrange themselves in this way now here no unpaired electrons that is why this is diamagnetic in nature number two tetracarbonyl nickel is a kind of tetrahedral shaped complex compound why tetrahedral let us see in this case sp3 hybridization occurs nickel undergoes sp3 hybridization that is why this is tetrahedral in shape and the hybrid orbitals are 1 2 another orbital and here another orbital four orbitals are formed here two orbitals participate in hybridization and after hybridization four orbitals are formed which are in tetrahedral shape now ligand carbon monoxide in which carbon contains one pair of electrons with this it forms coordinate covalent bond with the vacant orbital of nickel similarly another carbon monoxide forms coordinate covalent bond another carbon monoxide forms coordinate covalent bond another carbon monoxide forms coordinate covalent bond with the vacant orbitals of nickel which is tetrahedral in shape as nickel undergoes sp3 hybridization that is why this is tetrahedral in shape this is number one number two in tetracarbonyl nickel no unpaired electron that is why it is diamagnetic in nature in this manner tetracarbonyl nickel a complex compound is formed which is coordinated metal ligand compound coordinated metal ligand compound is a kind of complex compound ligand carbon monoxide let us see the structure formula of carbon monoxide carbon monoxide in which carbon forms double bond with oxygen here carbon used two electrons from its outermost shell but we know carbon has total four electrons in its outermost shell so carbon contains two electrons free these two electrons lone pair of electrons of carbon form coordinate covalent bond with the vacant orbital of transition metal atom in this way carbon monoxide acts as neutral ligand this is all about formation of tetracarbonyl nickel number today thank you very much